Oliver's plan is number one. Oliver's plan will remain number one, and I will find me another partner. Good luck to you, Buddy Rose and Dynamite Kid. You win, you get a title shot. Okay, we're going to take it right back out to the ring for the third fall action. Go ahead and ring that bell for the third fall. Get the people out here. Well, I can just get from my director how much time we've got left in this bout. We'll relay it on out to the ring there. Okay, when the bell rings, we're going to have 13 minutes remaining in about 13 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Butler. Sometimes we get a little dis discombobled up here with folks and everybody being around the crow's nest and the director out in the truck has to watch the monitors in the truck and he can't see what we're doing. No fault of his, we just got messed up that time. And I'm blaming it all on Don Cross. Did I, did I thank you for my nice birthday presents? You brought me that nice KRDR hat and that, and that, and that mug and everything and, and, and the nice card and everything. And You're a neat guy, Don Cross. <laughs> Just, just keep them coming. Third and is final fall, deciding fall. Don, take it. What you may not be aware of is that uh, you saw the Dynamite Kid and Playboy Buddy Rose standing out there in the ring. They were not early arrivals back to the ring. They never left the ring after that second fall. They stayed where this place was absolutely pandemonium city. People were ringing that ring uh, uh, during that last match and uh, afterwards. I don't know if they could have gotten out of there if they wanted to, but I, it took Buddy Rose a while to recover from that drop kick off the top rope by Kurt Hennig, and they never left. Buddy was extremely fortunate that he wasn't turned sideways and it caught those feet on the side of his neck like it happened to him before. Right. He caught the full blunt of that bl blow right in the chest there. He was extremely lucky. What's going on out there right now? Just, they're trying to figure out who's supposed to be out there first, and it's Rose and Henning. This is it. Whoever wins this one tonight will uh, face the assassin of Rip Oliver in a tag team title match next Saturday night, right here. Now, we don't know if that's going to be on television, so make your plans now to be here at the Portland Sports Arena next Saturday night. Great move by uh, Northwest Heavyweight Champion Hennig to a head scissors on Playboy Buddy Rose. Boy, he's, he's got that one. <laughs> he's horsing on it. Rose is going to try to... Uh, We're being directed by Dick Butler tonight. Who's the masked man on the camera over to my right, number two? We have the oh, yes, mass yes, yes. cameraman tonight. The, the, dun, 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 dun. the mystery cameraman. Laura, our director, as beautiful as ever. And our handsome red-headed cameraman on number one. Mel Camel's on too. Who's that on number one? Tom Goody on number one. What a team, what a team. KPTV Channel 12. Portland Wrestling. That's number one. Look at that. He's got that thing locked in there. Oh, Rose did kick out. He's right back in it. Right back in it again. You know, a lot of times as an individual, just mentioning the mere mention of the man's name, Tom Peterson, you can't give that guy enough credit. You, you, people don't realize how much money he turns over to charities and everything else during the year. Uh, He's just not a businessman, a part of the Portland community, a part of the Pacific Northwest. Tom Peterson is a gentleman of, a, a, of true form. And when I look at him and how long he's been faithful to us, hard right hand by Henning, it amazes me. And he never changes. He's always a heck of a guy. Yeah, never change. Always has a smile, always has a good word for everybody. He is uh, he's a, a gentleman of the nth degree. Proud to have known Tom over... Many moon. Hey, we got a big Billy Jack. 
All you can see is his legs in the camera. Kurt Hennings, the young gentleman, on a mat in red tights with the headlock on. Playboy Buddy Rose. Rose trying to reach for his he corner did. for a tag. Dynamite kid and thus three, he did. Hennig was worth ready. And uh, Kurt unceremoniously wrapped a headlock on the Dynamite kid, immediately took him over. There's a wide angle shot. Rose still in a bit of pain. Dynamite tries to shoot Henning off in the far ropes. Coming at you, there's a tackle by Henning. Dynamite tries for a hip lock. Kurt reverses the hip lock. Takes him down. Side headlock rolls him over. Has the same hold back again. A lot of those fancy moves that the Dynamite kid is trying to pull off just are not happening. He'd like to have a team like Billy Jack and Kurt Henning. Oh. Own a stable of them. Or a team like Buddy Rhodes, the Dynamite kid. Rip Oliver, the assassin. Al Madrill, Brian Adidas. The Samoans, Ron Ritchie, Chris Colt. Oh. Uh, Not to mention one of our veterans, all-time great, Stan Stasiak. There's a try for a goal behind by Rose. He tried to slam. Turn around, ran into the right hand. He met a boot by Billy Jack oh when he came God. into the ring. Here's an arm. Ooh. Hard arm whip. He picks him up. Oh, he slammed him on his shoulder. There's a try for the oh, full here comes that dynamite kid in there again. He raked Billy extremely hard across the facial area. Rose is holding Billy Jack. There's a drop kick. Oh! The oh. dynamite kid next. Bill Buddy Rose flat on his back. This There's a sugar it. hold by Billy Jack. He got it. He got it. The winners of the bout. Kurt Henning and Billy Jack. They'll face Rip Oliver and the Assassin for the title next year, next Saturday here at the Portland Sports Arena. Woo! Was that something else? Look at the fans are exuberant. They're rushing.